Mom Training Podcast with Diana Ballard. Hey, it's Diana. I was scared to become a mom. I was self-employed, traveled around the world, and I was afraid I'd lose myself, my ambition, be restricted, and be a hot mess. I started interviewing hundreds of moms to figure out what skill sets and mindsets I needed to keep my future family a priority and have the time, energy, and resources to achieve my own goals and hobbies. Each week we discuss how to run a successful household and enjoy your roles as mom, spouse, housewife, and individual. Come learn how to create the life you want while having a family. I'm glad you're here. Ladies, so nice to have you here this week. I can imagine there has been a lot going on, a lot of emotions, maybe some stress, a little less sleep, a little more thinking about things. So thanks for being here. I appreciate that. I've had a lot of thoughts about what I was going to do for this podcast. And there's two things that I really want to share with you right now. One, there is hope on the horizon. As we take life day by day, especially if you're quarantined right now, like most of us are, of trying to prevent this illness from spreading, if we can take each day and try to find joy, try to enjoy time with our family, and relax, be at peace, not having to rush everywhere and doing everything. If we could slow down our mind and be okay with the fact that things are going to be a little different right now, how can we shift our mindset and have hope in the future? And everything's going to be okay. The second thing that I want to share with you is I saw firsthand it with myself and also with lots of other people posting on social media, the people at stores, you guys, the stuff we talk about here on the podcast prevents so many problems. And I'm telling you right now, we're just getting started in practicing these things that can bring us so much peace. Being able to be prepared, knowing how to cook your own food, how to manage your money, how to manage your stress and emotions. These things are skills that moms need every day. And by practicing these things, by being able to practice thinking ahead or having some extra staples on hands of things we use all the time, being able to regulate our own emotions, have money left over in case of emergency. These are the skills that will get us through moments like we're in right now. So from my own personal experience, I have experienced a lot more peace in this moment than I would have if I wouldn't have practiced these skills daily. Were there times of fear? Were there times we were wondering if my family was going to be okay? Yeah, dude, come on. But I didn't have to be frantic at a store. I don't have to leave my house. And having to use wheat flour and beans and rice and trying to cook things up was natural because that's what I have already been using. You get what I'm saying? You become a skilled housewife and know your home. Have it be your domain, what you're in charge of, and be dang good at it. Have your kitchen be like literally the most skilled place that you are. So much stress can be prevented in normal moments and in moments like we're in right now. So I want to ask you, how prepared did you feel when all this started going down? Did you feel peace? Did you feel like you were prepared? 
I know I realized I had holes in my plan. <laughs> I mean, I was ordering some things off Amazon. I was getting some more vitamins. You know, I realized we didn't have a couple things in our, in our supplies. I mean, it happens. But how prepared were you? Were you able to create peace? And how do you feel right now? And what are you going to do differently in the future? If you found yourself literally with your feet just knocked out from under you with this situation that happened and you realized, holy crap, I am not prepared. Take that feeling and flip it around. What am I going to change? What am I going to do better after this moment? And by doing that, you will find more peace and have more control over your future. In the fact that I'm going to learn from this experience of what I felt and what I never want to experience or feel again. And then you take that and you dig in and you learn the things that you need to learn. If you need to learn how to prepare, if you need to learn how to plan, how to be able to save up supplies, food supplies, toilet paper, diapers, whatever. If you need help learning how to cook, if you need help learning how to manage your money, if you need help learning how to manage your emotions, there is help out there. Be determined and go find it. Be determined to have what you're feeling right now not happen again. I'm grateful for this moment because I found the holes in my plan. I found the holes in what I thought was solid. But the thing is, the peace came because I had the plan. The peace came because I was prepared as much as possible. So moving forward, what are you going to do differently from this moment on? What are you going to change? These are exactly the skills that I'm talking about that moms are lacking in this day and age. These crucial skills are lacking and if you're feeling unprepared right now, it's because you have not been trained. You have not been taught how to plan and prepare and how to be over the domain of your home and your family. Later this year, we are releasing some mom training courses about money management, routine bringing order, making a plan, being prepared, nutrition and health, self-care, emotional mental coping, relationships. You guys, this stuff works and will seriously change everything in your life. These skills that I've been talking about today are just barely touching the surface of the things we need to practice as moms and housewives. We have the capacity to be self-reliant, to be prepared, and not only have peace when there's crazy things happening around us, but have peace in daily life, be able to organize daily life, and be in the moment. I hope you can find some peace right now. I hope that you can learn what you need to learn from this moment. And never turn back. Never again will we feel this way if we learn from this experience and do something different. I believe in you. I am praying for you and your family, for your health, for your peace, for <laughs> things to be able to do during this quarantine time. We can do this one day at a time. I will invite you. Today, I am starting Hangouts <laughs> on my Instagram and Facebook. We're going to do some live Hangouts. Come hang out with me. 
have some virtual hangouts. Let's talk. Come and chat with me on it while we're on there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bring your jokes. Bring things that are funny. Let's come talk with me. It'll be so awesome to hang out. I'm excited to hang out with you, my friends, my family. Let's do it. You guys are awesome. Have hope in the future. And we'll see you next Tuesday on the Mom Training Podcast. Hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. You can hit me up on social media at Diana Ballard Live or on my website at dianaballard.com. See you next week.